Welcome to Majitudes. In this tutorial, we will talk about audio editing in Canva. The main question we are going to discuss in this video is whether Canva actually does offer audio editing functionality or whether that is something that might just come in the future. I have already opened up a Canva video project and then I selected audio here from the left sidebar and I added an audio track in our project. So now let's have a look at what kind of audio editing is actually available in Canva. For that purpose let me click here on our audio track and once we have done that here we have a couple of options are popping up here in the top toolbar. First of all here on the right side we have the trash symbol. If you click on that this will simply remove your audio track from your Canva project. Then next to that we have the duplicate option. In case you're clicking on that this will simply duplicate your audio track. In your timeline here, you will then see that you now have two identical audio tracks. This can be useful if you would like to play certain parts of this audio file at certain positions of your video. Now next in line here is the volume symbol and when you click on that you will see that you can adjust the audio volume which ranges from 0 to 100 with 100 obviously being the loudest level while 0 would actually mute your audio track. Last but not least, you also have adjust here in the top toolbar and when you select that, you will see that you can now actually move around your audio track. And like this, you can define which part of this audio track will actually play. So you can drag it around here and choose the selection of the audio track that you would like to play in your video. Once this is adjusted, simply re-click on adjust. Last but not least, you can also change the duration of your audio track by either dragging the audio track from the starting point here to the right or from the ending point here to the left. This will obviously make your audio track shorter because now the audio track 2 here will not start at the beginning of the clip and will only start right here. And it will end already here, whereas the first audio track will play for the whole duration of the video. You can obviously also add more audio tracks by simply pressing here on duplicate again and you can get four or five or even more audio tracks in your Canva project. Now that we have the same song here playing on actually five audio tracks, we could change the start and ending points of each to make sure that only a selection of this track is playing at a certain time. As you can see, Canva automatically compresses these audio tracks as you make changes. Before we had five audio tracks, but because I arranged the audio in a way where it could also be played back on two audio tracks, Canva automatically rearranged that for me. And that's it, that's actually all the audio editing features that Canva provides at this very moment. Unfortunately, Unfortunately, up to now Canva doesn't offer the functionality to fade in and fade out audio. However, that doesn't mean that fading in and fading out is completely ignored by Canva. In fact, fading in and fading out for the moment is done automatically by Canva. However, this is still far from ideal because a lot of us would like to play with these options and would like to be able to adjust the fade in and fade out time which at the moment is simply not possible. So you can't extend the fading out time and you also can't extend the fading out time. So that is definitely a feature that I'm looking for in the future because I'm sure that a lot of us would like to have this functionality. Now, if you're not satisfied with what Canva is offering in terms of audio editing, my advice for you would be to actually export your video with the audio from Canva and then use some dedicated audio editing software to make further changes. For that purpose you could use a free software called Audacity which I believe is available for both Mac and Windows. Another piece of software that you could actually use would be Adobe Audition. However this software is not free. And that's it guys, this is how audio editing in Canva works. I hope you did indeed enjoy this video. If you did I would be most grateful if you could subscribe to my channel and in that case please don't forget to hit the notification bell.